Alright, yes, well, hello, welcome back to another F1 episode, yeah, episode 2 of our My Team series here. If you guys are enjoying this, let me know, um, I'm enjoying it, so we're doing some more, mate. Look, I don't know if you guys are in an F1, I'm not sure how good this is going to do if I don't have a clickbaity title, but we're going to give it a go. <laughs> so guys, if you haven't, like, subscribe, all that stuff, but this is going to be a long video, so uh, let's get into it, shall we? So as you guys know, here is our car right here. Uh, we are a black, white, and green color scheme, so that's very nice. We have got ourselves Spec 1 chassis, but that is really about all we have got. Our R&D is absolutely atrocious, but that's because we just started. We are the fourth worst team on the grid. However, funnily enough, we did finish P5. Somehow we managed to finish P5 in Bahrain. Don't ask us how we're third in the Constructors' Championship. All right, don't ask us how. Currently have Dan Tictum as our secondary driver. Hopefully this could work out for us. So first things first, what we gotta do is sort out these things. And of course, I'm gonna go durability department focus. I'll go sponsor advertisement, gets 20K. Sponsor event, yeah, we can do that. 10 F1 esports event, heck yeah. And we can honestly just fit all of them in there, in there. lol. R&D, what do we got? Oh, our front wing main flap failed. We'll give that another go. Our gearbox Im uh, improved, so we'll definitely... A 40% failure chance, mate. We do need to improve our I ICE. And I mean, we can improve our ignition system. Sure, why not? If it's there, we might as well. But as you can see by this pie chart, our durability and powertrain development is better than our aero and chassis. Very much so. See that black line that's going rocketing towards the top of the chart? Yeah, that's us. Advise some time. Let's see how we can do, see how we can do an Emola. Our ignition system failed. That's sad. Let's give it another go, shall we? We got ourselves some roll dampeners, which is dope. And our front wing main flap finally worked. And we cannot afford to do anything anyway. We only got 268 research points. Which means we're gonna go straight into the race weekend. We're only gonna do one shot qualifying nowadays. Practice sessions, we're just gonna go through these nice and quickly. Hopefully we can smash these out nicely. And at the end, we were very much unlucky. We were only one thing away from doing it. We just don't have enough time in P3 to get it done. Of course, we're going on to the soft tire, mate. Car setup, I'm gonna go for increased top speed, I reckon. Looking at the straights, yeah, increased top speed. Hopefully we can smash out this one lap. If I don't talk, I am very sorry, but we need to smash this one lap. It's one shot qualifying. We have one lap to get this right. So hopefully we can sort something out here. That's the plan, man. Turn, not too great. Turn, first chicane, not great at all. Considering Verstappen and we're quicker than these guys. We did get the right setup to get ourselves quick. That was a good chicane. There we go. That was a great chicane, Cameron. <laughs> Went a bit wide, but I suppose that's what happens when you don't have a lot of downforce. Went way too wide there. I'm currently P7. Whew, rough. From that one corner, P7, mate. I'm back into P6. Breakthrough here. P8. Jesus. P6. I mean, i got to remember, I'm not in a very competitive car. I am trying to be one of the better back marker teams but if i can somehow get into p1 or like top four position at the beginning geez and i'm currently in p1 boys come on come on p1 somehow your boy your boy might have done it i might have done it never mind the staff and managed to pinch it from me at the end p2 is not bad we were two thousandths off the pole position Formula 1, Prelli Grand Primo del Med in Italia e da Madria Romagna. I thought, my God, I didn't, I can't speak Italian, mate. Right, this race strategy. Do we want to do the one stop? Chuck on the hards or do we want to go hard? I think this will make it more entertaining if we go something like this, right? Yeah, and then instead of having, we have 33 laps of fuel, we'll be quicker at the beginning. So we'll go 9 laps, 10 laps, 13 laps. Soft, soft, mediums. Hopefully that makes... We're only like three seconds slower if we go two stops, so we might as well. Good start, good start, good start. We got we beat Verstappen off the line. Just, but he's got a quicker car. Or does he? Or does he? Can we get into turn one going into as a uh, pop, as a leader? That's... That's what I'm trying to say. No, Verstappen just got a better freaking entry there to that corner. And we've run wide. First go. Fuck. That's fun. 
All right, let's see what we can do here again. Uh, we'll go short. Oh, we managed to pinch Verstappen out to take the number one position. We are in the lead of the Grand Prix. I don't know how long we're going to be in the lead, but uh, for now, we can say we are leading the Grand Prix as a uh, new team in Formula One. We've got Verstappen right up our butt, but we our cornering ability right now. Atrocious, mate. Absolutely atrocious. We are quicker than the Red Bull down the straight, which is going to be very, very handy. Uh, but, however, in the corners, uh, I think we're going to get absolutely butt-munched by that Red Bull. That Red Bull seems to have much better handling through the corners, and the only way we can keep up is the straights. We're banking on our straight line speed to be able to beat these Red Bulls. I think we have the potential to maybe, if we can finish in the top five again, that will be huge. Um, but our main goal, because we're on the softs, everyone's on the softs, but because we're on the two-stop strategy, we really got to push for these first laps on these soft tyres to really uh, make the two-stop effective. we got to push the entire race, to be fair. Just on the mediums, we've got to be a little bit easier on them. We've always pushed, pushed a second gap between us and Verstappen, so our straight line speed is going to come in really, really handy here um, over the Red Bull. we just got to hope that in a straight line, Hamilton doesn't catch us. we just got to have a perfect race somehow. No pressure. And it's very hard. It's very heavy around the corners to go top, to have the no downforce around the corners. I wish I kind of uh, didn't go max top speed, but you know what? I press fuck it and hopefully in a straight line we can make up for our cornering speed, you know? <laughs> I think at the end of this lap, DRS is going to be involved. Yep, the ERS has just been enabled. So yes, hopefully we can keep this gap between us and Verstappen, because uh, I would very much appreciate him not getting DRS, because that's one thing that we do have over the Red Bull this year. Well, for this uh, track anyway, is our straight line speed. So hopefully we can maintain that one second gap, especially going down through detection zones, because uh, I don't necessarily want Verstappen breathing down my neck all the time. It's not End of lap three there. We've still got that two second gap. We've got a two second gap between us and Verstappen right now. Whew. All right, we're doing all right here for, our, for, for the opening laps here. We just got to make sure that we get in ASAP with that tire to prevent an undercut and we should be A-OK, -okay, hopefully anyway. That's, <laughs> that was our plan. Because if we can get a P1 in our first, second race as a franchise in F1, bro, we've broken the sport, that's for sure. We'll give the Red Bull one thing, it does scare me going through those chicanes. They just, I just look at the timesheet and they are just closing that gap so quickly. I'm going to get a warning there, aren't I, for exceeding track limits? Oh, I didn't! I didn't get a warning for exceeding track limits. My tyre wear is looking okay. What is our strategy? What lap are we pitting? Nine. Mm, okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Three laps. I am going to aim for lap... Oh, yeah, no. Nah, we're aiming for lap nine, mate. That's our strategy. We're going lap nine. Get off the... Get a new set of softs on us ASAP. To be fair, in our second race, I did not expect us to be leading a Grand Prix right now, mate. We've been leading it for six laps, mate. I did not expect us to be leading it. <laughs> we're still holding that two... That 1.8 second gap. We are still holding that 1.8 second gap between us and Verstappen, so we're holding it, which is great, and we're even charging our ERS system just in case he does catch up, so that's good. We are maintaining this 1.8, 1.7 second gap, which means that we are preventing Verstappen from getting the DRS, and also um, charging our ERS, ERS system. Oh shit, he, he, no, we just lost a bunch of time there on that exit we did as i opened my mouth we lost a bunch of time mate he's almost a second at he's almost at us mate he's almost at us goddamn i just had to open my mouth didn't i it's under a second now oh piss off max please he, they just have better traction coming out corners than me i made up a little no i didn't never mind i looked up too soon i didn't make any time through the chicane oh piss off for stappen please let me go 
Maybe I should boost up the difficulty next episode. That might be an option. You never know. 37% overtake available. We are using that bitch. Only down the main straight, though. He does have DRS. That's why I'm using it. He has DRS. Which means I no longer have the straight line speed. Uh, straight line of speed uh, advantage over the Red Bull. Which means that uh, Verstappen and Perez. Because Perez is right behind Verstappen. I really wish I had a teammate up here with me. But uh, I can't afford exactly. I can't exactly afford a fantastic driver. I can't afford Lewis Hamilton, you know? Lewis wants like $20 million a season. I barely get paid $20 million a season, mate. Jesus. Either way, I'm coming in, not this lap, next lap, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to save up a little bit of... So I'm going to save up a little bit of ERS. We went a bit wide there. We don't get a warning. We're good. However, it's 0.4 seconds the gap. Verstappen is right on my booty hole. Ah, uh, I don't like this at all. This is scary, man. Also, how am I competing with these guys, to be fair? I'm just a good driver. What can I say? I'm a driver, man. Ooh, I took that a bit cool short. I took that a bit short. We're boxing this lap, so we're using our ERS, mate. We're using it. Yes, sir. All right, we got to try and keep the staffing behind us. Good defending, good defending. He's gone down the inside. He's gone down the inside. He's very aggressive here. He's doing well. We got to push him out, pinch him out. Yes, well done. Good defending, good defending. We pinched him out of that spot. Beautiful. He is not going to give up. He's probably going to have a sniff either this corner or the next. Uh, probably not this one. After this chicane, probably this one. He's going to have a little bit of a sniff if he's close enough. Uh, he's not close enough to have a sniff. So we got to have our def we got to have our elbows out, bro. We got to have our elbows out because he is right there on us. Same with Perez and same with Hamilton. Hamilton's right behind Perez and Perez is right behind with Verstappen. Oh my goodness. This is scary. This is scary. I cannot fuck up here. I almost fucked up there. <laughs> almost did. Uh, good exit. Get a good exit. That's why I chuck some ERS in there. Try and get a little bit of a gap uh, with some traction. Go wide. Come into the chicane. Cut that a little bit. Cut that a little bit. Beautiful. Good exit. Got some traction. We put a little bit of a gap there. Half a second. That's beautiful. There's a safety car, apparently. Who? Oh, oh, my good Verstappen. Verstappen has taken an engine penalty. His engine has failed. Max Verstappen is out of the race. Oh, my goodness. Either way. Either way, we're going into the pit lane here to get ourselves another pair of softs. Hopefully, we don't get ourselves a penalty we had to slow down very much so for that but we are tucking on a new pair of softs i don't know where we're going to exit but hopefully it's not bad see my strategy here is hopefully pit early um i don't know if they're gonna i think maybe everyone else is going to be on the one stop uh we are currently in p12 i'd expect us to be down like p15 at the moment um but i'm hoping that we can overtake everybody uh while they are in the pits so Hopefully we can make up some time on these soft tires. Antonio Giovinazzi overtakes us and we gotta just stick behind him while our tires warm up a little bit because I don't particularly love driving on ice cold softs. Yeah, they're at 79 degrees. They're heating up themselves nicely. And we gotta work our way through the field and then hopefully get an overtake. We are chucking it. We are yeeting it down the inside there of Antonio Giovinazzi. Our front tire was not in front. We were not entitled to that, but we went half off-roading, mate. We turned our F1 car into a rally car, and it worked out to get past Antonio Giovinazzi in the Alfa Romeo. We are currently at P14. On to the next. Who are we hunting down now? Esteban Ocon. We're hunting you down in the Alpine. We are hunting. We are hunting on these brand new softs, mate. We've got to make up some time here, by the way. That's why we're hunting. Because we are rocking the two-stop, we got to go hard here in this stint. Tyres are looking fine. They are brand new. They've not even completed a lap yet, so let them be. That's cool. And when's our next pit stop? Lap 19 to 22. If we can push these stop softs to 22, that will be sick, but it's all right. teammate hasn't even pitted yet and we're above him clearly we're the better driver mate
I see you, Esteban. Come here. If I can get Esteban in the DRS system here, in the detection zone, hopefully I was in, a, in within a second there for the uh, detection zone. Please tell me I had, I was a second. No, I didn't get it. But everyone's going to the pits here. We just got the fastest lap of the race. Hopefully, is this Lewis Hamilton? This is Lewis Hamilton. We have overtaken Lewis Hamilton. The undercut has worked. We've managed to hold off Lewis here. Um, keep him behind us. We've actually put ourselves in a more of a promising position as well. We are three seconds up in front of Lewis Hamilton. We are just going to chill behind Esteban off on here through the chicane here and get him where we got Antonio Giovinazzi. We are just going to jump down the inside here of Esteban Ocon. Don't mind us. Biggest dive. We dive into that turn. I don't know what turn that is, but hopefully Esteban can hold up Lewis Hamilton for us. We actually put a little bit of a spacing between us and Lewis here because we pitted that little bit earlier and prevented him undercutting us. So that worked out beautifully for us. We are going to slam on the brakes here. Who are we chasing? Yuki Tsunoda, P6. We are currently in P7. Esteban, can you hold up Lewis Hamilton, please? Don't jump in the pits this lap. That'd be great. So we're waiting on Sergio Perez because Max Verstappen has been, um, has been just retired from the session. Nice. All right. So our biggest competitors are Lewis and Sergio Perez. Yuki Tsunoda goes into the pits, which gives us P6. Sebastian Vettel's also down in the pits. Lando's in the pits. Are we back into P1? Sergio Perez, see if the strategy has worked off. Yes, it has. We have got past Sergio Perez, and we got ourselves a little bit of a gap as well. Our teammates join in the pits. Perez, yes, sir. This, yes, our strategy has worked out phenomenally. Phenomenally. We are three seconds in front of Sergio Perez, who is our biggest competitor, as Max Verstappen had been dis well, um, retired from the session, mate. They are on the hard tire, which I'm assuming they are going for the one stop. So we need to put us put some time in between us and them. I don't know how we're going to be doing this, but uh, we need to put some lap times in, my guy. Rain. Maybe the two stoppers are good. Rain. Rain is coming. So maybe we can push these tires out. Nah, it's probably not going to be until the end of the race, like the last three laps, isn't it? Do we hold off on get going into that for those medium tires and maybe you hope it rains and get inters? I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. I'm not going to lie, lads. Leading is kind of boring. There's literally nothing for me to do. I'm just trying to work on my times. So we've got a six second gap between us and Hamilton, who's overtaken Perez. But like, we're just going about our day. While I am racing, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you guys actually watch F1? If you're watching this, surely you watch F1, right? So who do you guys think is winning the championship? Verstappen or Hamilton? I think this is getting posted like three days before the uh, final Grand Prix of the season. So let me know. Who do you guys reckon? I, I hope Max wins it. Max, I think, deserves it. Yeah, I can see cars in front of us, guys. Hopefully, you guys can see that too. But I can see people in front of us. You know what that means? Action, my boy. Action. Yay. Yeah. Blue flags, baby. It's Kimi Raikkonen in 21st as well, by the way, fellas. Come on. Which means, hopefully, if we can maybe stay behind him through a detection. No, okay, never mind. I was hoping maybe we could get some DRS and pull the gap out between us and uh, uh, Hamilton out a little bit, bit further. But, you know what? It's okay. We are still pushing this gap out. It's almost eight seconds between us and seconds, so... Oh, that was a bad corner. That was a horrendous corner, but we don't get a warning for uh, exceeding track limits. So that's handy dandy. We did get a red second sector after a green first sector, so it wasn't great. We got a little bit of bad traction out of there. Our tire wear is a bit high at the moment, but we should be coming into the pits by lap 20, I think I had it at. So we'll see if we can get it to like lap 21 on these softs. Um, 
and then we might have to I really hope we don't have to pit to get into Zon I really hope we don't need to do that but we might have to maybe lap 20 might be it you know try and get as much out of the medium tire as we can because at this rate we're gonna have to we're gonna come out at like what p5 maybe maybe even p6 yes and as you can tell by our lap times up there our sector times should i say yeah these tires are almost dead so we got to keep it going if we can somehow make the gap so we can come out in p4 So yeah, if we can somehow make it so we come out in P4, that would be ideal. That would be perfect. That way we only have to overtake three players, uh, three people to make it into the podium positions back into P1. Uh, I don't expect us to be able to do that. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't expect us to do it. Uh, I'm quite happy with just a podium. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite happy with a podium. Um, and especially with Max Verstappen out of there, that means like, there's a podium position available. So if I can somehow you know, snatch a podium position out of the hands of these guys, then why wouldn't I? So I have a feeling I'm going to push this lap because we're going to be pitting, aren't we? Indeed we are. We are defo boxing and putting on the medium tyre. So, guess what? We're pushing this lap, boys. Let's see if we can uh, have much we can push. If we can create a 10 second gap between us and second, that would be awesome. Sergio Perez is starting to come back at us as our tyre wear is kind of depleting. So, we can't exactly set the best laps because we no longer have traction out of corners. So, hopefully, we can do decent here. The gap is nine and a half seconds. Can we make it 10 before we enter the pits this lap? for some medium tires. That would be awesome. We're still currently coming out in P5 behind Lando Norris, it seems. So it looks like we're gonna have to overtake Lando, Bottas, Perez, and Hamilton on the medium tires. But I think we should be A-OK -okay to do it for some medium tires. Hopefully we can do it, that'd be sick. We don't get a warning, so that's good. Let's see, it's a two stop. So there's Hamilton, Perez. There they are there, they're gonna overtake me easily. Um, <laughs> Kimi Raikkonen unlaps himself from me, which is good. Uh, now Bottas, Bottas should get past, and same with Lando. Somehow we got nose damage. That's why we had a 7.2 seconds. Oh, we did. How did we get nose damage, my guy? All right, who's behind? Charles Leclerc, Charles, and Carlos. So we've come out in P7, mate. I didn't realize our nose had damage, my guy. We've come out in P. Seven. Jesus. How did we end up here? Alright. I didn't expect us to come out this late. That's not what we wanted at all. So now on these medium tyres, we got to hope that we're so much quicker than these Ferraris. And uh, we get some times on the board. God damn. I can't believe we freaking... How did we get nose damage? How? All right, I think we were in the detection zone, were we? No, we weren't, okay. Either way, we still had two purple sectors in that lap, so so hopefully we are all good. It could be because of those curbs. But we are right here next to Charles Leclerc. Five minutes until rain. Okay, we might have to stop again and get some inters on, mate. This isn't great. Considering there's still 10 laps to go, a minute and a half a lap, yeah, it's gonna come in for the last like three laps. Carlos, I don't care where you're defending, mate. I'm jumping down the inside of you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I break later than you, my boy. I break later and we're back into P5, which is where we kind of wanted to be at the end of the pits. So we do have DRS because we're behind Sainz, but we got eight seconds to catch up to the Lando Norris, which to be fair, is quite the distance.
We got DRS down the straight, my guy. We got DRS down the straight. Use the slipstream as well. Come on, come on, come on. Lando is very quick. He does have the Mercedes power unit, so I am, might just jump down the inside here. Yep, late break. Oh, uh, no. Nah, I've got to... Oh, pushed him wide. Pushed him wide. I've gone way wide myself, and I've had to give up on taking that spot away from Lando. Use some slipstream. I'm not going to get him here. I'll get him down that next corner after the chicane here. Exit she needs to be good. It is. I'll jump down the inside here. Jump down the inside. We've got him. We've got him. We've got Lando. We've got Lando on that corner. We're up into P4. On to Val3, who's two seconds in front of us. As soon as Val3 pits, we're pitting for Inters. I'm just going to put it out there. I ain't risking it. If Val3 pits for Inters, I'm pitting for Inters. I want that P3. Don't mind me. Just skipping over that entire corner. Don't mind me at all. I don't get warnings for it. I'm going to keep doing it. I think we're just outside the DRS zone here. Going into that detection zone. I think we were out just outside DRS range for us. I don't know. We weren't. We were inside DRS range. Come on. We've got DRS. Come on. Two laps remaining. Valtteri, mate. We're coming. We're coming for you, Valtteri. Two laps. Oh, these tyres are fine, mate. These tyres are fine, Jeff, mate. It's the traction with the wet. I've got no traction. I've lost traction, mate. Come on. Traction out the corner, please. Yes, we got some. Not as much, but some. Bottas is still, we're still within striking distance. Still a second away from Val 3. Can we get a good exit out of the chicane? Yes, we can. We go a little bit wide, but it doesn't matter. We're right on Val 3 Bottas's tail. We can get him down the straight. We're going to get him down the straight here. Hopefully that's the plan. We're going to get him now, are we? I think we're all behind, which means we get DRS down the straight. We got him. We're up into P3, my boy. We're up into P3. Hopefully it doesn't start going down. We have DRS down the straight as well. So catch you later, alligator. We're out of here. We got overtake as well. There we go. We're in a P3, boys. I can't believe that. We're somehow in P3. After a meltdown of a pit stop, we've pushed ourselves, pushed ourselves. We, got, we didn't even have to change the enters. The reins held off for us. The reins also held off for us. There's two laps left. There's a bunch of cars in front of us, let's be honest. This here, Alonso and Latifi. You want to get out the way? I know you guys are battling for 17th, but, like, I'm trying to hold off freaking Valtteri Bottas, mate, for third. Is that Sergio Perez in front of us right there? We've got a lap to get him. He's five and a half seconds in front of us, so I'm quite happy with where we are. This range managed to hold off until the end, which is absolutely awesome. Bottas is right there. I look behind me, I see a Merc. We got no grip. The track is wetting up. We've got bald tires. Our tires are shot and we have to defend. We now have to defend against a freaking Mercedes for P3, mate. Whew. Hopefully we can somehow get traction out of these corners. Because we have to defend our ass off here. Because there's no way we're getting catching P2. 
No way we're catching Sergio. However, we need to defend. Oh, you see that drift, my guy. I don't like how Val 3 is right there. We just got to just try and maintain the line and get wide elbows. We got to take up as much track as we can with our same same length car, mate. Uh, I'm going to cut that corner. I need to cut it. I've done well to only have a warning here. But my brake's just locked up. I'm just going to say that. My brake's locked up. All right. But it puts a little bit of a gap between us and Bottas. Even braking, I just feel my car sliding when I'm braking. She's a bit wet out here, boys, but we've managed to hold on to P3 and we've got ourselves our first podium, my boys. Second race, first podium. Whew. Let's go. We did something.